Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use blurring effects with a video in Final Cut Pro. Uh, I find that uh, the blur effect works best in a shot uh, that's maybe like a dream sequence or some dramatic moment of realization, um, but obviously you have total creative control over when you want to use this. Um, so to start off, uh, what you want to do is drag focus blur uh, from the effects menu onto your video and then uh, move the central point uh, so it's on your subject and then obviously you can play around with the amount uh, just adjust it to your liking uh, I'm gonna change the width and the height to just fit my subject better um, so the parameters are really important to play around with and I, I'm already really liking this I think it's pretty much uh, focusing on the subject and blurring the background um, and if it's a shot like this where the subject is moving around a lot um, obviously you can add keyframes on the central point and move it around so it stays on your subject uh, throughout the entire clip. And so when we play it back, um, I think it looks pretty good. It's uh, definitely adding some more dramatic effects onto the video. Um, if we wanna bring the subject out even more, we can add sharpen onto the clip. And then we can click uh, add shape mask and then put the shape mask just over the subject. And just like with the uh, focus blur effect, keyframe it so it stays on the subject the entire time. All right, and then we can play around with the amount. Um, obviously nothing too dramatic, uh, cause that'll start to look uh, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but something small like that, I think uh, just helps separate the subject from the background even more. And I think already it's looking uh, really good, really dramatic. Um, one thing I also like to use sometimes uh, as an alternative to the directional focus is prism. And um, what you want to do for this is click add shape mask again, uh, put it around the subject. And then click invert masks. And now just the background has the prism effect on it. And obviously I wanna lower the amount a little bit so it's less uh, obvious. But now when we play it back, uh, as you can see, it's just adding even more to uh, the blur in the background and the uh, subject standing out. Hope that helps.